Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sai Prashant and welcome back to my new lecture series. In this series, I will cover all the basic concepts of biostatistics including some numericals. To begin with the definition, statistics is a science of collecting, summarizing, presenting and interpreting data and of using them to estimate the magnitude of associations and test hypotheses. Or in the other way, it is used to summarize and describe the data from studies where the data are collected in the form of numbers. In simple words, it's just converting data into some useful information. Whereas biostatistics deals with biological sciences, particularly from the field of medicine and public health. Statistical approach involves defining phenomena in terms of numbers to either imply or deduce cause and effect. Coming to uses of statistical approach, describe variables and their relationships, help explore the nature of relationship among variables, help explore the differences between samples and populations, help investigate the role of chance in giving rise to measurements, help explain relationships between sets of data, predict the cause of relationships among phenomena, control or take account of variables. Let's see some applications of biostatistics in different branches of science to start with pharmacology, to find action of a drug, to compare the action of two different drugs or two successive dosages of the same drug, to find the relative potency of a new drug with respect to a standard drug, in medicine to compare efficacy of a particular operation or line of treatment, to find an association between two attributes such as cancer and smoking to identify signs and symptoms of a disease or syndrome, in community medicine and public health, to test usefulness of vaccines in the field, in epidemiological studies, and in public health, measures adopted are evaluated through statistics, for example, family planning and fall in birth rate. Biostatistics as a science of figure help us to tell many things. Uh, for example, what are the leading causes of the death? What are the important causes of the sickness? whether a particular disease is rising or falling in severity and prevalence and which age group is affected the most, whether the age and sex composition of the population is rising or falling, the levels or standard of health reached till now, which health program should be given priority and what will be the requirements of the same. So these are some of the information which we get through statistical figures. And now coming to the role of biostatistics in each step of research, in the first step, the planning or design of the study, we need to consider whether we are looking into a single group or multiple groups. In data collection, we need to involve the statistician, we need to take the inputs from the statistician before and during the collection of data. And in the data analysis phase, we need to consider what statistical methods should be used based on our design and the other parameters. And in the presentation, it's nothing but the summary measures used. And now coming to the last step, interpretation, it is nothing but what do the results mean? We get some numbers, right? So what exactly they mean will come under the interpretation. Thank you.